In contrast, the only other time the scripture tells us that Jesus marveled is at this centurion's belief. Because the centurion said, you know, if I just say the word, if you just say the word, then my servant will be healed. I mean, that's what blew Jesus' mind. It's like, wow, this centurion realizes I don't physically have to be there. I don't even have to physically know or see that person. The centurion knew that that person could be healed even when Jesus wasn't around. I wonder sometimes if we know that. So I think some of us would find it easier to believe if, if we had Jesus physically touch us. If he was right there in the room and said, be healed. But Jesus doesn't have to be in the room to say be healed. He can do it even outside of the room, can he not? And what a glorious thing I think that is. Somebody, when they uh, ended World War II, in one of the concentration camps, they found that somebody had scratched on the wall this statement. And I love this person's perspective. Again, this is a person who's been incarcerated in a Nazi concentration camp. I believe in the sun even when it does not shine. I believe in love even when it's not expressed. And I believe in God even when he is silent. Can't imagine what it was like inside of there. But there's somebody whose te faith was truly tested, I think. The principle I'd like you to take home with that today is an uncommon man trusts even when he doesn't see or understand. Hebrews 11 says, Faith is the assurance of things hoped for, the conviction of things not seen. Now, if you go out and talk to an unbeliever, an atheist, they call that blind faith. Well, you can call it whatever you want to. But that's what faith is. If it's something that we could see, something we could touch, is it faith anymore? It's a fact. That's the difference between faith and facts. And that's the beauty of this centurion, is he's an uncommon man. He's an uncommon man in faith, an uncommon man in respect, in compassion, an uncommon man in authority and humility.